This time yesterday, we were waiting and we were excited for Fabrizio Romano to tweet, here we go, about Sergio Reguilon. He's now done it. And we are not excited as United fans because he has tweeted about his move to Tottenham Hotspur. He's saying, Reguilon to Tottenham, here we go soon. The agreement has been reached in the last few hours. Real Madrid for 30 million euros. Reguilon agreed personal terms with Spurs and accepted to join after talks with United. Tottenham have conceded to Real Madrid for both clauses they've asked for. A buyback and a preemption clause, and that United refused to include either. Now, I've got absolutely no idea what a preemption clause. Let me know what is that. Uh, they get first dibs on him with a buyback? No idea. But Fabrizio has confirmed it. Here we go to Spurs. And over on his Instagram account, he confirmed some more details. Let's run through those before we discuss it. So on his Instagram account, Fabrizio confirms more details. They're saying that the buyback clause will be around 40 to 45 million euros. And the preemption is what I thought it was. If anybody else bids for Real Madrid, they can come in and offer the same bid and they can have him. Also saying Tottenham have an agreement with Real Madrid for the player. Personal terms have been agreed until 2025. Also was keen to join United, but Spurs convinced him. Personal terms were not a problem with United, but United's board won't accept any of the clauses to bring the player in. This was the main issue. And also United wouldn't pay 30 million euros, considering final price as 20 million plus add-ons. The add-ons are back again. United are not signing Regulon. Spurs are signing their man. Let me know what your reaction to that is. <coughs> Sorry if there's a little bit of wind. Nothing I can really do about that. Maybe close the door there. Uh, nope. We'll leave that open a little bit. But <coughs> United add-ons, not paying a club what they want for a player, not signing a player. I think we've all been here before. Hell, Christ, we were... Remember when we signed Fellaini for more than his release clause? Because that's how crap we were with negotiations. It seems like the same thing has sort of gone on with Regulon. Now, I want to say a few things. Number one, I completely 100% agree with Manchester United to not agree to any buyback clause or any preemption. That's basically taking a player on loan from Real Madrid and saying you can have him back whenever you want, really, for this lovely reduced price. For Daniel Levy, it's an easy business decision. They sign a player for 30 million, they know they can sell for 40 to 45 million in two years' time. Happy days. For Jose Mourinho, it's a perfect signing. Somebody who's only going to come to the club basically on loan for a year or two and then leave. It doesn't matter. Jose Mourinho is not going to be around again. He doesn't care about that. The issue I've got with Regulon is that I think United could have easily signed him had we offered 30 million straight away and then discuss the idea of a first refusal rather than a buyback clause. First refusal being that if somebody comes in, Real Madrid could match that. United add-ons not paying what clubs want and all of a sudden we're left again with no signing, with time wasted on negotiations and with people pointing fingers and laughing at us. And they can. <laughs> they have every right to. And they should be because, look, it, it, I agree with the idea that we didn't want that buyback clause in for regular. That I 100% agree with. I suppose you can do what you want, man. Like Even if Regulon becomes a great player, he's leaving your club within a year or two. How is that rebuilding? That's not. You're fixing a short-term issue, which isn't really even an issue, given that they've got, what is it, Ben David and Sessegnon. That's not a signing because they need it. That's a signing because it's a business decision and they'll make a sharp... 10 to 15 million euro profit for a manager who won't be there in two years. That's a, that fits what Spurs' model is right now. That's not what United's model is. We need players who are going to be here for the long term for the future and sign for the right reasons. And in that sense, Regulon did not make any sense. But I am very annoyed at the idea, I think, that's correct. That we could have signed Regulon had we offered 30 million. Not 20 million plus fucking add-ons. That's 33% less than what they wanted for a player. It's just, it's like going in, I suppose it's exactly what we've done with um, Sancho, going in about 90 million and the rest in add-ons. Clubs don't want add-ons, United. Clubs aren't interested in add-ons. Fabrizio said it to us the other day. <laughs> they, want, they want cash for Sancho. Madrid wanted cash for Regulon. 
but we didn't offer enough. And we sat there and we tried to negotiate a, a set of add-ons uh, with an upfront price that Madrid just did not agree on. And given what happened with David De Gea, maybe that's something that Madrid have not forgotten. But regardless of that, United are not signing Regulon. Here we go. It's happened, but it's happening to Spurs instead. Let me know what your reaction to that is, but United now are left, what is it? Maybe two, three weeks until the end of the transfer window. We're not signing Regulon. And it, again, like Van der Beek, it was not a priority signing. A fucking centre-back and a right winger are the priorities. We're not even linked with centre-backs. And Jaden Sancho, stories coming out yesterday that we're going to leave it to the last week of the window because, you know, it'll be easier to negotiate. Will it fuck? Last week of the window, Dortmund will say, you're like two months too late, lads. But instead, we're going to be left with a deadline day scramble, probably signing Ivan Perisic. Not even Ivan Perisic. I can't remember someone. No, I don't even know. Just signing two old crap players on loan because we haven't signed our main targets. That's what it's looking like. But Regulon to Spurs is confirmed. Well, it's confirmed by Fabrizio. Let me know what your reaction to that is in the comments below. But it's not to United. Uh, and I agree with the idea that we didn't do the buyback clause. Spurs, do what you want with that one, mate. But I think we could have got him if we offered more up front and avoided a long set of negotiations. And what I looked at as a very simple set of negotiations, somehow United have managed to fuck it up again.